Hey, this is Matt Marchant of the Marchant Training Method, and I'm going to show you how I have been using the Voodoo Floss Bands. So, before we get started real quick, um, these bands, if you don't know already, um, I believe they were developed by Kelly Starrett. He was the one that was um, showing how to use these on his YouTube channel, Mobility Wad. He's also got a website, I believe it's mobilitywad.com, something like that. Um, so that's who's developed these, and you can purchase these at Rogue Fitness. I believe that's roguefitness.com for the um, Voodoo Floss Bands. So um, the bands come in two different colors, black and red. Um, the color indicates, though, the thickness of the tubing. So I won't get into kind of what they do, you can check out some other videos to find out exactly what's going on with the physiology of the tubing. I'm just going to show you how I use them and some things I've learned from using them over the past nine months. So a couple things. Uh, when you're using your, uh, your floss band here, it comes with a little plastic um, thing in the center. You're going to want to use that. I've seen some videos where uh, guys will start to do the wrap and the, the tubing or the, the floss here is not tightly wound and it just makes for a very sloppy wrap. I find it very hard to get a nice, tight, effective wrap if I haven't already rolled this up nice and tight. So when you get these, keep this little plastic tube in there and every time you're done, roll them up like such. So that's the first thing. Second thing that I found with the tubing or with the floss is this. Um, when I'm working with someone brand new and it's the first time that they've used this, I always use the black one on them. It's a little lighter, it's not as thick, and I don't wrap too tight. Uh, some people have freaked out when I start wrapping them up. They're just like, what in the world is uh, going on? So I wrap with the black. It's, a, it's less thickness and I wrap uh, loose. With that being said, um, once someone has, has kind of gone through and used the floss for a while, I find the red to be most effective for lower body for most people and the black to be most effective for upper body for most people. But that depends on how much muscle tissue they have, um, also to kind of how thick they are as well. Um, I, I use the red for my upper body as well. I use the red for just about everything. The black I really just use on clients now. So, that being said, that's kind of the specifics uh, on getting started with the floss. So, I'm going to uh, wrap up my leg and I'll kind of show you a few things that I've learned as well. So, first point. Um, in, in kind of the old school thought of massage therapy, it was always when you're working on tissue, you're always working back towards the heart. Well, there's a lot of different uh, people who are teaching massage therapy um, recently that I found that's not always the case. So um, when you're doing the wrap, you don't have to wrap from the ends up, but I just tend to do that anyways. Sometimes I will do the opposite, but for the most part, if I'm wrapping, I just kind of wrap up the extremity towards the heart and likewise with the leg, I just kind of do it that way. So um, you can kind of play around with that and find out what works for you. So I got my tubing. I just kind of find what area I'm going to uh, wrap, hold it down, and I just get my first wrap just like that. Okay? So I'm kind of, it's kind of locked in and it's ready to go. First thing with wrapping, you want to make sure that each time you wrap, you at least get about a 50% overlap, okay? I'm hoping that makes sense and you can kind of see it. You want about a 50%. That would be 100%. I'm wrapping right on top of the other. That would be a 0%. I'm not wrapping at all. So you want about a 50% wrap, okay? As you're wrapping around whatever it is you're wrapping around. That's the first thing. Second thing, you want to find what part or what side of... Um, the tissue you're trying to compress the most. Um, case in point, when I'm wrapping the calf, I'm not trying to compress, compress the tibia, I want to compress the, uh, the gastroc or the soleus. So when I wrap, I'm going to pull tight here, wrap up, then it gets loose. 
pull tight here, wrap up. If you can see that on the video, that's pulling up the muscle here. What I'm not going to do is pull tight here and wrap across the shin. I'm not trying to get this part here. So that will make a difference when you're wrapping something, say the forearm, you could wrap both sides, but you would typically, I have found, you'll want to pick one or the other. You won't want to make everything really tight. And the first time you're using this, you want to go a little light. You don't want to over wrap it. Uh, just kind of take it for a little test drive first to see kind of how it feels. So with that being said, I'm wrapping. So it's tight and up, tight and up. Now, uh, I'm not going to get too much into the specifics. I'll do a couple other videos in the future on kind of how I wrap these different areas. But basically, once you wrap, I'm just going to kind of hurry up a little bit here because um, I'm starting to feel it. Um, then I pull one of the ends and I just tuck it underneath. I've seen some other guys really pull it all the way through. I have found that if I just tuck it underneath, that works too. Um, then you wrap it up, you do what you need to do. I usually will keep a clock next to me and I will usually set it for about two minutes and just keep my eyeball on it. So I try to get whatever movement, mobility, corrective kind of mobility I'm trying to do with the wrap, I try to get that taken care of in two minutes. Even if I'm not necessarily feeling um, blood flow decreased and neural activity kind of decreased to the end of the extremity, I will just kind of, by force of habit, go, okay, it's been about two minutes, let's get this thing off. You should be able to, to do what you need to do in two minutes. So anyways, that's just a, a quick intro into some of the things I've learned with the Voodoo Floss Band. Again, use these little plastic things. When you roll it up, so now that I'm done, roll this thing up nice and tight in the plastic tubing so it gets like this. You don't want to be trying to roll someone up with this junky, messy looking thing. I have found it just makes for a very sloppy wrap. So do that. Um, again, when you're, when you're wrapping, 50% overlap. Find the area that you're trying to compress the most, and that's the side you're going to pull tight on. Go a little lighter on the opposite side, and you got about two minutes. So that's my first video kind of showing you how I've been doing that. Uh, Thanks for watching. Let me know your experience with the, uh, the Voodoo Floss Bands. I'd be curious to find out kind of what you found out about them. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget, subscribe, like, comment below if you have any questions on it. Please ask. I'll be happy to kind of give you my answer as I've kind of found out these floss bands to be. I think they're great stuff. I use them just about every day on myself personally and I definitely use them professionally. So again, this is Matt Marchant from the Marchant Training Method. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.